first of the other big story we're following tonight. Tomorrow, Governor Inslee will get a tour of sites being used to respond to the coronavirus outbreak here in Washington State. Possible quarantine site in Centralia they're talking about. It's a very fluid situation. Our goal here at Como to help you plan, not panic. Tonight, there are 27 confirmed cases in Washington State, nine deaths. Eight of those deaths are in King County and one in Snohomish County. Hours ago, Amazon confirmed one of its employees in Seattle tested positive for COVID-19. A memo sent to workers says the employee worked in South Lake Union at the Brazil building. The man went home sick last Tuesday and hasn't returned. The positive test result just came in today. Amazon told employees the worker remains in quarantine and people who work near him are being notified. We also checked in with Boeing. That company says it's working with a small number of employees who think they may have been exposed. They were asked to stay home out of an abundance of caution. And after receiving guidance from health officials, several employees have now returned to work. Rules are changing on who can be tested for coronavirus after a growing number of people demanding to be checked have been turned away. Vice President Mike Pence says all it will take is a doctor's order and millions of tests could be available by the end of the week. Camos Joel Marino looks at the potential impact of expanded testing. Joel? Uh, Mary and Preston, we keep hearing from people who feel sick and have asked to be tested, but just aren't being allowed to do so. Well, this change could clear up a lot of the confusion and put some fears to rest. Now, up until just today, testing had been limited to people who were experiencing flu-like symptoms, who also uh, traveled to coronavirus hotspots or had contact with someone confirmed to have the illness, or they're hospitalized with unexplained symptoms. Well, now the Centers for Disease Control has new guidance. Anyone can be tested for COVID-19 with no restrictions so long as it's requested by their doctor. Now, the change addresses the very problem that Jeanette Jamison ran into earlier this week. My primary care sent me to the ER um, and said I should get a coronavirus screening because I have all the symptoms. and. Um, I went there yesterday and waited for over four hours before I was told there are no screenings. Maybe there's There might be a question. Uh, in addition to the new testing standards, some healthcare agencies are offering virtual visits where people can talk to a medical professional online. Starting just today, MultiCare Health System began offering free online virtual visits with a nurse practitioner to discuss a variety of illnesses, including coronavirus. Now, the University of Washington hopes to uh, begin testing in the coming days, and there are also corporate labs that are working to get uh, federal approval to add to that effort. Back to you. All right, Joel, thank you very much. And since Sunday, the state lab has only tested a few dozen people for the new coronavirus, but it does have the capacity for much more. We've learned the lab in Shoreline has tested 99 specimens since March 1st. They typically test two specimens for each person. We do have a request into the state health department to figure out how many tests they've actually run since January. Right now, that Shoreline lab has a capacity to test 200 specimens a day. We have a live look at Seattle where Mayor Jenny Durkin issued a proclamation for a civil emergency today that allows her to bypass some regulations and permits to more quickly address threats to public health and safety related to COVID-19. The city is expected to announce some of those actions in the coming days. Tonight, people are voicing concern after King County started setting up a temporarily temporary quarantine village for people with coronavirus in White Center. Now, we were there when the first trailer was moved into a lot on Southwest 112th Street today. Kamos Tammy Mutasa is live at the site where neighbors say they were not warned about this plan. Tammy? Yeah, Mary, a lot of people told me they had no clue this was happening and they think it's really unfair that this quarantine trailer was moved into their neighborhood right in the middle of the neighborhood without them knowing and more of these trailers are expected at this very site. I was watching the news. I said, there's one right across the street. 17 years living in this neighborhood, Marsha Robbins didn't see this coming. A trailer moving in across the street to house people who need to be isolated and recover from coronavirus. Air Force shows just how close the site is to apartments. That's some scary stuff for me. And I'm a health freak, you know, I'm 68 years old. Up to eight trailers will be on the lot after a building is demolished first. But officials say initially they won't be hooked up to water or sewer. Sharon says White Center already has enough to worry about. We got to pray on it every day just to live in White Center, period. 
but she understands people need a place to go as part of King County's emergency response for a public health emergency. It's sad that this is happening to people and just got to take one day at a time and hope for the best. Officials say they're working to find other sites and phase in the trailers. King County is working as quickly as we can to, to respond to the COVID situation. Neighbors are wondering how the sites are being selected. I know they say sanitize, wash your hand real good, but this is close to home. So, yes, I have a concern about it. Mm -hmm. And back out here live, I asked county officials how the sites are being selected, and I'm still waiting to hear back. I do know that they hope to have this mobile unit up and running by Friday. So definitely a lot of pressure and um, urgency with that. Back to you. And Tammy, so much more to come in the coming days. Thank you. Going live now to the Life Care Center in Kirkland. This is a live shot from outside the facility. Anxiety, frustration growing tonight for families with loved ones inside. At least five of the nine deaths in our state are linked to this. This care center. Some families want to see more testing for the residents. Teddy Tyler says his mom was taken to the hospital with a respiratory illness last week, but wasn't tested for coronavirus until last night. Her test is still pending. I just keep telling her I love her. And... <laughs> Hope she can hear me. We reached out to Life Care for details on how they're caring for the residents. They won't talk with us, said they're not doing interviews. In a statement, Life Care said staff should be wearing masks, gowns, and gloves when caring for any patients showing symptoms. The first positive test for COVID-19 in North Carolina has a connection to our state. The state says a man from the Raleigh-Durham area spent time at a long-term care facility where there's a current outbreak. That's presumably the Life Care Center in Kirkland. The man in isolation is in isolation now at home, and he's said to be doing pretty well. The Lake Washington Institute of Technology is reopening tomorrow after a thorough disinfecting. 22 students and faculty will stay in self-quarantine after spending time at the Life Care Center that's linked to many of the local coronavirus cases.